One, two, three. One, two, three. Good job. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we're not recording. Yeah. Hey. Okay, I'm recording now. Um. All right. So this is our this. Kyle and Casey were playing Seven Days to Die. So for the last uh, how, how many days have I spent on this? Uh, at least two. At least two. Several hours, and um, this is our fortification. <laughs> Spent two days on this piece of shit. Yeah. Uh, um, you know, I boarded up the windows. I put some <laughs> iron around the back side of the house. Uh, um, you know, I think it looks pretty good. We're fucked. This is the fortress. <laughs> and the plan is, is that we're going to go in, um, and we're going to play on insane mode and see how long it takes the zombies to, to take it down. All right, let's go inside. <laughs> Oops, no, no one's that. Oh, okay. Well, you can't go in the I house. can't open the door and with the HUD off. That's kind of stupid. All right, so here's the inside. <laughs> oh, I'm dying of thirst. <laughs> well, we're not going to make it very far, are we? <laughs> uh, I need water. I can't even- ah, I can't even get through the walkthrough. Okay. All right. Thirsty. I'm already dipping into our uh, emergency supplies. And we don't have a lot to begin with. Get going. Alright, so let's go down the hole. It's a nice hole. It's dark. With lights that don't work. I'm hoping that they make it so you can turn lights on. Eventually. Still an alpha, but... It's very dark. Oh, do I have my... Hey, there, there we go. We go. I, got, I forgot I had my mining helmet on. Alright, so let's come up. And... Okay, so we're just kidding. We actually um, went into uh, creative mode. And um, this is our real fortress. So this is what took like three days to build. So I built a long bridge here, and um, careful where you land. It's laced with landmines. <laughs> so there's a little bit of a backstory here. So had some fun with the grenade launcher, <laughs> um, but this is the bridge to the fortification mailbox. And uh, the purpose of the doors here is that um, this chest here is full of the removable um, rebar. rebar frames, so you can actually build a two-wide bridge to the actual entrance of the structure. So now if we come through, we have you know, our little office space and a lovely seating area, <laughs> um, open-air bathroom. <laughs> Um, if we come upstairs to our little balcony, our plan is that we have a well-provisioned <laughs> supply of weapons, and um, we're just gonna rocket launcher and snipe zombies from up here. And hopefully we'll see how well it goes. If we go back downstairs, there's a three-tier uh, system here. Obviously the gap um, to our Home. Reinforced concrete living area is tier one protection. If they manage to break through that, um, we move into tier two, <laughs> which this room is made out of iron and it also doubles as a supply and resource nice room. Kitchen. Yeah, three refrigerators. <laughs> we, are, we are well supplied with weapons and materials. Um, so if the first area gets completely overrun, which we'll see how long it takes for that to happen, then we have the iron wall room. If they manage to make it in here, um, we have tier three, actually. <laughs> so this room here is three thick on all sides. This is where the beds are, so these are the spawn points. Um, we have uh, double-walled tungsten doors. <laughs> Uh, emergency supplies are in these chests. This is the oh shit room. Um, if we're trapped in here, we're fucked. We're fucked. Uh, so that's why you have the hidey hole. 
that uh, goes to the... Beside the pressing house? The, this is the escape tunnel. This is all iron with um, tungsten door partitions. And um, this leads to the escape route in, right. in the hidey hole house. Come up the ladder, and then this is where basically we would... We have some other emergency supplies in here, and then this is where... We run. <laughs> we would run. Um, Somewhere. <laughs> if we have to use the escape house, um, all hope is lost, essentially. So, yeah, this is the this is the structure. Tier one is in the beginning. Tier two is in the middle. Tier three is three thick on all sides, including the floor. And then tier four is the escape house. Um, I guess the only other thing I can show you is that upstairs we do have um, the People's Republic Guardian Project, and we already have some stuff growing. Um, so originally I had this all caved in, but because it was unsupported, uh, some trussing started to fall in and it actually killed Casey a few times. So we're just going to leave it open. Um, I originally had it all caged in, that way the entire facility would be enclosed. Um, but we'll, we'll see what happens. Um, we do have uh, barbed wire on the outside oh walls. So we will see uh, what happens. So I think we'll go ahead and get in the game. Um, we'll put it on insane mode, cheats off, and we'll see how long it takes for them to destroy it.